Welcome back, everybody. Addison Zawada here. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of What To Do Wednesday. Roll the intro. What? What? What is what? There's a message you're trying to send to us. Well, the time has officially come. It is time to get off the trainers, off the rollers, and head out to that first big race of the year. In preparation for that race today, I'm going to be showing you all how to pack your bike inside of an Evoc travel case. We will start this segment by showing you just a little bit about the Evoc bag. You got nice wheel bags on the side right here. Your wheels actually go on the outside and then bag. You mean you got storage bag down here, a nice fork cup for your fork to sit in. Bottom bracket will actually sit right here so you don't have to take your cranks off or anything like that. It's really, really very well designed. I highly approve of this bag. By the way, this is not a paid promotion by Evoc. I just like this bag for mountain bike purposes. All right, time to remove the handlebars. Once the handlebars are separated, set those aside. Put your faceplate back on the stem so you don't lose it. All right. Now if you've got your pedals already off like me, you are pretty much ready to take the wheels off. Go ahead and shift your shifter all the way down to the bottom. Make sure it's on that final cog. Then you can go ahead and loosen up the rear wheel, take it off. Now the front. I like to just make a pile of all the parts at first and then we'll sort them out a little bit later. Just put them in a pile so you make sure you don't forget anything. All right, everything is loose, so front wheel will come off. Lock it out so it's nice and easy, and then just take the rear wheel off. Set that right by your front wheel. Now we will go ahead and put this top tube pad on here that Evox supplies. Front, top tube, top tube, front. Just line everything up and then strap it down, just like that. Now the point of this pad, one, to be a pad, but two, to give your handlebar somewhere to sit. Handlebar actually sits right in here, like that. Nice and safe and sound. Now it's time to drop the seat post, but first, make sure you take a Sharpie and mark the height. That way, once you get to your destination, you know where your seat's supposed to go. Go ahead and loosen that up. Drop that down and then retighten. So why would you want to just drop your seat post instead of take it all the way out? Well, you want to do that because it gives the bag a little bit of rigidity, gives the bike some support. The top of the bag can actually rest on the saddle and that just gives the bike a little extra support. Whenever you're traveling in a technically soft case like this, you want to have as much support and rigidity inside of the bag as possible. That keeps the bike safe and sound while you're traveling. Pro tip here. Put your skewers back in your fork and your frame for safekeeping. That way you don't lose them or misplace them. Now that the bike is pretty much secured and ready to go in the bag, let's... When setting this bag up, there's a few things that you should know. One, this block right here that your frame rests on actually moves forwards and backwards on Velcro. You wanna place that so your chain ring sits right on the edge of this black pad here. Make sure to leave these straps out so they can go over your rear triangle, like that. Once the bike is actually in, there is a Velcro strap that is actually attached to the bag here to wrap around. You wanna get this pretty tight. Then a little extra security for your handlebars. One of the more important features of this bag is this lowers wrap. It's actually got nice thick padding to wrap around your lowers and keep them protected. This pad sits between your handlebars and your lowers here. And you take the straps that it's got, two in, and then pull them snug. Now your fork is strapped and ready to go. And take this front strap, and there's also a rear here, just the same. Go ahead and cinch those down nice and well. Finally, you can take one of these Velcro straps, hook it through here, the seat post, just adds more support. Double check all of your straps, make sure everything is strapped in. Make sure this zipper pocket is closed so none of your tools go bouncing around. Bike's in there nice and well. I like to put my disc rotor facing towards the bike. Once again, rotor in. Like 
that's it. That's all for putting a bike in one of these travel cases. It is super simple, super easy. Hopefully this walkthrough helped you out. Make sure you mash that subscribe button, throw a thumbs up if you like the video. If you have any comments or questions, drop them below. Maybe throw me a good luck on my race this weekend. Also, make sure you stay tuned to the channel because I will be doing an unboxing of all the parts that I actually put on my race bike. I got a lot of really cool stuff on there and I can't wait to share it with you. I'm working on the video now, it should be posted hopefully by the end of the week before that race. For What To Do Wednesday, I'm Addison Zawada, peace.